and witchcraft are buddies. You meet one, the next is coming. Jesus did not need to insult the Pharisees, but as they saw the miracle, they were so hurt, they were so touched, and they began to speak against him. They created quickly a picture that justified them and vindicated them. And that picture was let painting bear so we may look good. This is a presentation of Alleluia Ministries International. Jesus Christ is the answer to a politician who has tried it all and they say, unless you go and bow to some idols, you will have your breakthrough. He did it and nothing is happening. Let me tell you, Jesus Christ is the answer. Amen. Jesus Christ is the answer to this one who feels that his back is against the wall and there is no way out. The enemy has his hands on him. Let me tell you again. Jesus, Jesus Christ is the answer. They took him to Jesus Christ and the Bible said he healed him. Please be seated. How fast? How simple? How uncomplicated this verse presents this reality of yesterday. They brought him to Jesus Christ and he healed him. Someone will ask, just like that? Let me tell you, when you talk about your story, some folks out there will say, just like that? It happened just like that? Because somebody here is about to receive an outstanding miracle. I just do not know who I'm speaking to. But if it is you, you came with faith, you expect it. I, I want you to believe something is about to happen to you. I just receive. like that. No abracadabras. No jump seven times. No dance a little bit. They brought him to Jesus. The Bible says Jesus healed him. Tell somebody, say, what is about to happen to you, it will happen just like that. What is about to happen to you, it will happen just like that. You, you, you do not need to, uh, to, to move, to bow, to roll on the ground for it. It will happen just like that. Well, I am speaking in my office as a servant of the living God as an authorized mouth of God I decree and I declare over you it will happen to you in this season just like that they will ask you what is it that you did did you cut yourself did you make incision in your body you will say no the man Jesus healed me just like who am I talking to if it is you can I hear you make a holy ghost crazy noise now now you are both sharp please be seated he healed him so that the blind and the mute men both spoke and so immediately the man who was demon possessed brought to Jesus Christ was healed immediately in such a way that uh, he began to see, he began to speak immediately. The manifestation of his miracle happened right there immediately. God is about to shock this world with what he will do for you. I pronounce over you that God will begin to do it in this season. Now have a seat. This is clear that the reason why he was mute and blind in the first place was because demons had hold of him. Learn to separate yourself. Engage in spiritual warfare. The devil does not shoot blank. 
We are in a battle. As long as you are here, you will have to fight the good fight of faith. And the good fight of faith is not just enduring the sun as you go through the journey of life. It's also confronting the resistance that the enemy will erect on your path. And uh, oftentimes, the resistance you come across are spirit beings. That you will have to confront. Are you hearing me? And all the multitude were amazed and say, Could this be the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard that this man was healed and the demon that was oppressing him for such a long time under the leadership, they felt somehow funny. You know, there are things that you achieve that are supposed to bring about joy and celebration from all around you. But it does not. Because you see, oftentimes your achievement speaks a different language to a certain crowd. It tells them, you failed. You've been with this man for all this time. You even created a seat for him, seat of the blind guy. You had a protocol that would lead him to church and you felt that uh, that's your best you could do until Jesus walked in and changed everything all around. <laughs> success is dangerous. And oftentimes, success is so painful. I remember a time where I said to God, Lord, I got to cool things down in my little level. Because you see, every time men see what they esteem to be success, success in you, jealousy and lust comes in. They become jealous. You bought a new car. They have been around. They have been working. While you were still at school, you got a job, you organize yourself properly, now you're driving. They are still. This is how witchcraft begins. Envy and witchcraft are bodies. You meet one, the next is coming. Jesus did not need to insult the Pharisees. But as they saw the miracle, they were so hurt, they were so touched, and they began to speak against him. They created quickly a picture that justified them and vindicated them. And that picture was, let paint in bed so we may look good. You failed. But to justify your failure, you tell everybody that girl did not really succeed. The reason why she has been promoted is because she is not well behaved and she is sleeping around. You see, I failed, but I am honorable. You're not honorable. You just failed. The sooner you realize that uh, what you are going through is called failure, the quicker you may pull yourself out of it. Feeling good about it doesn't help you. Oh, well, I wrote my exam. I gave it my best. The reason why it didn't work and that that one worked is because me, I said to myself, I'm a child of God. I will not bribe. Meaning this, they bribed. So instead of applauding success, you start honoring failure. Hear me. Where there is no fruit, there should be no honor.
As simple as that. This is a teaching I give my, my sons, both here and my biological one. I say a man's worth and a man's dignity is in his work. Work and show fruits. Are you hearing me? So they say quickly, well, this fellow, they did not call him Jesus. They said, this fellow does not cast out demons except by Beelzebub. Oh, wow. They seem to have known who Beelzebub is more than they knew who Jesus was. They called Jesus Christ a fellow. But Beelzebub, they knew his name, probably his nickname also. They say this fellow does not cast out devils except through Beelzebub. Oh, you see that pastor? Whatever he's doing, be careful. It is his microphone. <laughs> are you hearing me? It's just to say that, uh, well, even if we are this, I remember one of my leaders many years ago, he said, Lord, we may be only 25 in the church, but we are only 25. There are many in the thousand. It's because the truth is not being preached. I said to him, is this really the end of you? Did it have to get to this? Grow by accepting challenge. Change your perspective of things and your perception of life. If my brother is making it, I have a choice. Either to shoot him down, to paint him black, or also to arise and say, if God will do it for him, God will also do it for me. They say, Jesus Christ, they called him a fellow. This fellow does not cast out devils except through Beelzebub. The new Beelzebub, the new his position. They say, the ruler of the demons. But Jesus knew the thought and said to them, instead of attacking them and fighting back, taking a stone and throwing the stone back, no, he brought the truth. You cannot argue with results. They can insult you. They can, uh, oh no, she's this, she's that, blah, blah, blah. it's okay. Do not enter into stone throwing business. No, you're bigger than that. Look at the person next to you, say, you're bigger than that. <laughs> you must know in life, you like it or not, there are people who will love you, there are people who will despise you. No matter what you do, no matter how you conduct yourself. Jesus Christ, instead of throwing a stone, mm -mm, you must understand your value. When you understand your value, you realize that uh, you can't waste your valuable time speaking of things that are not worth your while. Well, you're tapping also. You are throwing stone also. You are also going from house to house. You are also speaking. No, whoever attacks you, fine. Jesus Christ, the Bible said, he knew the thought and say, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation and every city or house divided against itself will not stand. If Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? How then will his kingdom stand? And he said, if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your sons cast them out? Ha, Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, was accused to run ministry by evil powers. Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, was accused. Please note that the prostitute did not accuse Jesus. The drug dealers and the tax collectors did not accuse Jesus. The attack of Jesus Christ was a competition of church.
Be sure to tune in next time for the continuation of this preaching. This man was bound. On top here, somebody was responsible of his calamities down there. Down here, this man was a blind man. This man was mute. But up here, some spirit, strong man, Jesus said, where the reason why he was blind down there. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Avlo Kao on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Avlo Kao on all social media platforms at Avlo Kao.